One of the many problems that we face today is actually very simple. What is going on with our liver, lungs, spleen and heart? An insight in Christianity. And you wonder what in the world is this and has this anything to do with Christianity? Well, most of my life I was raised actually in Christianity and most of my life I had something to do with Christianity. Whether I followed the rules or stayed away from the rules. The reality was very simple that Christianity affected life in every aspect, starting with the week. It started off with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Those are days that were created by a Roman Empire. Romans that had nothing to do with God whatsoever. And one Roman Empire uh, Emperor, he decided that it was very important to have something from the way, the truth and the light. And so Christianity was formed around 235 AD during a forum whereby there was an emperor of Rome, Constantine. There were a whole bunch of bishops, people that were in charge of a flock. And they got to hear the decision of an emperor. An emperor that was not a believer, couldn't care less about God, prayed to a whole bunch of strange, weird gods. And now we, as a society, 2021, we've got a major problem. And what is that problem? We are worshipping all kinds of weird gods under the name and in the name of Christianity. And so my problem is very simple. When I deal with tough situations, either in court, I've been in court and worked in court for 20 years almost, and I tell you it was an eye-opener because a lot of the people that were related to a certain organization, they had the power, or at least so they believed, and they acted on that, and they destroyed families, they destroyed people because they wanted control over money. And reality teaches us that it is quite often the case. So Matthew 6.22 says, in the complete Jewish Bible. The eye is the lamp of the body. So if you have a good eye, that is, if you are generous, your whole body will be full of light. Now let's check and find out if that is true. Is your life full of light? And why do you have to be on the way, the truth and the light? You cannot just have the light. Your actions have to go with what the light is teaching you, is showing you. See, light is exposing darkness. And as you notice around me, if you take a look here, around myself here, this is black. Now, why is that black? Black is considered dark, darkness. And each time that something is lighted, like my face, there is a light shining from the front and from the side. And automatically you can now see my face. And that is a simple explanation over the light that we are supposed to walk in. Now, when we call ourselves Christians, I started to figure out and check out what in the world does a Christian mean? And why did I have those questions. Sadly, when I was six years old, my mom passed away and my brothers and sisters and I, we were sent to an orphanage. To make a long story short, I was told the mommy was in heaven and she was going to be in a good place. And I got so mad at God. Why did he need my mom? Well, we as kids got kicked in an orphanage. 
Seven years later, my father remarried. Wonderful for the rest of the family. But I had outgrown a family because I didn't know what it was to live in a family. So two years later, two and a half years later, I was living on the street. And that wasn't fun exactly. It had something to do with religion, actually everything, because my parents believed a certain way and I believed an other way. And reality was, kick them out. And so I ended up on the street. Living on the street was no fun, particularly when it is December. And December is cold, no matter where you are. Most countries, you will see a turn around from summer into winter. And when there's snow on the streets and on the ground, and you are supposed to find a place, you make something out of it. But when I got so many years later to work on Wall Street, of course, there was a whole different street. A street with money, a street with promises, a street with riches. And that is where I noticed that Christianity is basically the same. They are living, the majority of, or at least, they are living for money. The pastor wants to give, all the money has to come to the pastor, or the church, or this, or that. But did Jesus really say that? And was his name really Jesus, or Jesua, Hamashiach? See, I learned the hard way that Jesus never created Christianity. It was an institution from a Roman emperor that wanted to control his people, the ones that he run, and so therefore he made his decisions. Who was supposed to pray on Sunday, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday? It had nothing to do with day one, day two, day three, the way God created us. And the Pope that was installed as the head of the church was supposed to follow the rules of the emperor till he became an emperor himself, strong enough to withstand the Roman Empire and become an empire in its own. And then we have a fantastic scenario, which is awesome in itself, Martin Luther King. He felt that something was wrong. But Martin Luther King got killed in the Americas. But what about Martin Luther? Martin Luther was a priest and he was searching for the truth and he discovered that the church was not doing what the Bible said. And he started with the Protestantism. He protested against the Pope. And that became a group of people that became the evangelicals and that became the holy rollers that became the bible belt but they're all still based on the old philosophy of the emperor they couldn't care less they didn't believe in god almighty that just pray to anything that whatever made you feel comfortable and we today 2021 we still do that. Are we really following the way, the truth and the light? Are we liver, lungs, spleen and heart connected to each other? If we are the body of Christ, who are we? What kind of body are we? If we kill each other because you believe a little bit different than the other, or you don't bring all your tithe and your money to the pastor and he can't make his trips or do the way he wants his church to be built. Are you kicked out because you don't give enough to the church, quote unquote? Or are you following the way, the truth and the light? See, Christianity was never in the books to be made. But what is it and what was it? Are we supposed to be whatever you want to fill in? Yes, it's scary. If you really go back to the basics, we were connected. See, I am going through a stage in my life 
but my son is in coma now for the fourth month. He was hit by COVID and supposedly you're not say, supposed to say that, but my son was hit hard, ended up in coma and still is in coma. And I start to think at things differently. I have every so often, almost weekly, updates from doctors, what it is that they're dealing with, what it is that my son is going through, and yet he still is in coma. But during the time of sleep, I discovered that Enoch was told, and that was a friend of Jesua, no, he was a friend of God Almighty. Jesua didn't even show up on, on that scene yet. But Enoch walked with God. And Enoch knew that there were angels surrounding him, helping him. And when you are sleeping, you are being taught by God Almighty. When I listened to the doctors, in particular the first doctor was very harsh. She indicated that if there was another situation, she would not resuscitate my son. Technically, we are gi given a very bleak picture. Yes, folks, that's what I'm facing. And somewhere, somehow, during that process of evaluating and going through the turmoil, what is happening and what do we have to decide, my heart started to act on it. And yes, an ambulance was called, and yes, pictures were taken, and I'm in a very serious um, development of seeing doctors and having you know an operation potentially and what have you but there's peace that passes all understanding and why is that i'm a normal human being i face the same what you face maybe less maybe more i don't know i know many people are sick many people have to deal with death and many people, if I look at the ward when I go and visit the doctor to hear the specialist tell me whatever they found and discovered in my heart, uh, what it is, I see many people sitting there. So I realize that I'm not the only one. Maybe you are dealing with a challenge as well. And then the question is, how do you deal with your problems? Are you in peace and understand that God will teach you because you are following the way, the truth and the light? And if it sounds confusing, then maybe you want to ask yourself, why am I doing what I'm doing? Why do I believe what I believe? Have I ever checked out why the pastor is talking about this and yet his actions are completely the opposite? See, if I work in the bank and all I do is talk about money and that's all I am interested in, then I'm at the right place because the bank is dealing with money. When politics favor the people that have lots of money, I know that people say there is something wrong. But what if the church is only favoring the people with money? What is happening? What is that for an indication? Now, back to ourselves. I cannot blame anyone. What do I do when I face these situations? When I go through this matter? Do I love the Lord? Do I love my neighbor? Do I share with those that are in need? And do I set an example by following the way truth and the light. Then the connection will be there. A connection between liver, lungs, spleen and heart. That is what the God Almighty, our God, our Father says through the Ten Commandments. See the Ten Commandments were designed for the children of light. And if I am a child of light, I follow that path. Does it mean I'm perfect? 
Doesn't mean I fall flat on my face. Doesn't mean I am subject to sickness and diseases. But it shows me how to overcome those. And if you feel better because all those suckers are dealing with all the other problems, then maybe your time hasn't come yet when you face reality. Because we are human. And as humans, we have to do one thing, to commit ourselves to God, to follow the Lord. And no matter what happens, to understand that God will guide you if we open ourselves. If we love God, He will love us and open the door and give us wisdom and teach us how to overcome the issues in our life. Fear, false education appearing real does not have to touch you if i pray i can pray in peace but if i pray because i'm fearful then i'm screaming at god demanding i need this now why because i have no faith if i trust god i can be at peace and that peace folks is what satan tries to steal from you that peace that passes all understanding is what makes us strong. Not because, because I drive a Lamborghini, live in a big house, fly private planes, have a very expensive watch. Those are nice things. I've had them. I felt good about it. But you know, reality is nothing is compared to the peace of God. When you follow God, and I say follow God, because it is God that will be on the way, the truth and the light, and he will give us wisdom. And as we get to know God and get to live as our father, that is what faith is actually all about. God bless you. Bye for now.